So that same anger that he has right here, he's gonna give it to us. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and trample them in my fury. He's gonna trample them in his fury. That don't sound too nice to me. I thought the Lord was about love, love, love. Love this, <laughs> love everything, love everybody. He said he's gonna trample the nation of Edom in his fury. Go ahead. And their blood shall be Isaiah 63. Go ahead. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment. He said his blood with the blood was gonna get sprinkled on his garment, man. That's how much he's gonna be getting busy. Okay? <coughs> now when we're gonna read about him in the New Testament, because you get a simple Negro, right? What about Christ's love? We're gonna show you how the Lord gonna get down in the New Testament. Okay? Uh-huh. Huh? You got a precept with your Lord. This is Sirach 39 and 28. Bring it out. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Uh-huh. Which in their fury lays on sore stroke. Uh-huh. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. Right. Now this is talking about uh, the spirit that because that spirit that, that the most high is gonna put on us, and he's gonna put a spirit of vengeance on us. Okay? He's gonna put the spirit of vengeance on us in that time. We ain't we ain't these weak bodies now, we can't do nothing. You can get all the Negroes and dollars, and all they can do is drop a bomb, you through. It's over. It's the same thing they did with Black Wall Street. Yeah. So-called Negroes make a hell of money, more money than them so-called white people. That's white man's life. Yeah. Red button, man. Bomb. bomb the hell out of them, man. Okay? But you can't get mad about that. Right. You're supposed to get it. Go ahead. And appease the wrath of him that made them. Uh-huh. That was it. Right? That's it on that. Okay. Go back to this. Uh, to Isaiah 63 and then Jeremiah. They try to get Go ahead, brother. Finish that. And I will stand on my raiment. Uh-huh. He's going to stand all his raiment. Uh-huh. Verse 4. For, for the for the day of vengeance is in my heart. The day of vengeance is in the, in the Lord's heart. So he can't wait. He can't wait. With the word heart in the Hebrew is la'ab, which is your mind. Okay? So it's in his mind for, uh, to get vengeance, man. Go ahead. And the year of my redeem is come. The year of his redeem is come, man. We in that third day right now. So uh, give me uh, Jeremiah. This is, uh, oh, sorry, this, is okay. this is Jeremiah chapter 51, get, uh, verse Revelation 20. 20. Uh, this is this uh, biblical prophecy right here. Good. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Uh huh. For with thee, start up, set up a verse. Huh. Jeremiah 51, verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Uh huh. For he is the former of all things. It says Jacob is the former of all things, man. We created uh, most of these inventions, man. Okay. To have a white man, the white man join his kingdom because we built it up. We built, we built up the streets and roads and the stoplights, the computer, and the cell phone. Okay, air conditioner, the refrigerator. Okay, modern technology as far as the manufacturing. He, he took all, he took those inventions, man. And then claimed it as his, man. And that's why, that's why the so-called white man now today looks at the Negroes as simple. Because he, he, he'll he say that he created all that stuff. Hey, well, if it was for us, you wouldn't have all this. You go, you go back to Africa. Well, for one, you crackers in Africa, fucking up Africa. Two, we created all them inventions for you to enjoy, man. When you do the research on it. But That's you ain't right. supposed to say nothing. That's right. You ain't supposed to feel no type of way about it. You're just stole everything. You get lied to your whole life. You can't point out who's lying to you. You just got to get along. That slave mentality is over, man. And the kingdom of, of America is over, man. That's right. So if you're a so-called white person and your line goes back to the Caucasus Mountains, you're an Edomite, you call yourself a Caucasian, enjoy the last fruits of America, because America's finished. That's right. Okay? And we don't want to hear no more opinions from you white people. You ain't got nothing else to say. Y'all right. talk for long enough. Now it's time for you to listen to your judgment and shut the fuck up. That's right. Israel is the rod of his inheritance. And Israel is the rod of his, in 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 his inheritance, man. Go ahead. The Lord of hosts is his name. Uh-huh. Verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. The Lord said that Israel was his battle axe and weapons of war. Go ahead. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. So it ain't going to be of the Most High come down and do, and, and do it, man. He's going to bring his son down and the elect to do it. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Okay. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. With thee he will do what? Will I destroy kingdoms? He's gonna destroy kingdoms with thee. Go ahead. 
Okay, that's good. That's good on that. All right, Got peace up? Go ahead. Yeah, cool. Matthew. All right. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. Peace ain't coming to the earth. Go ahead. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Uh, but a sword. And the Lord is going to use his men to establish righteousness on earth by getting rid of all the wicked. That's right. He's going to get rid of all the wicked, man. Two-thirds of our people, okay, the other nations, and the so-called white man are going to get taken out of the way. Right? Because they, did, they didn't want to listen to the, 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 uh, the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? Yep. And Lord willing, we those men. Okay? Yeah, man. That's right, you know. Revelation 1, we're going to talk about how man. You know, those, those are just simple church niggas, man. It's some of my people about church niggas, man, years ago, man, when I was younger. They don't care about the prophecies, man. They don't care to hear it. They don't teach it in the buildings, man. They teach bullshit, man. Just bullshit, man. So when you... But no, we was just talking about that earlier. That's what I'm saying. They'll say that they grew up in the church. Growing up on, in the church don't mean you growing up in the scriptures. That's, right, that's, right. that's the difference between us and y'all. Y'all grew up in the church. We growing up in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? That's where the that's where the beef lies. That's where the, the line is being drawn in the sand. Just because you grew up in the church don't mean you know nothing about the Bible. You still think Adam and Eve was hurt by themselves. Right. Devil under the ground with a red pitchfork. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still think that. So when y'all heard this, that's what I'm saying. You didn't grow up in the scriptures. You grew up in the church. Yeah. That's why you lost. Yeah, because y'all been taught fairy tales, man. So when the reality of the scriptures is faced up with you face to face, you can't handle it. And you don't even want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're all going to be here when hell break loose. It's going to be race riots. It's going to be mass deaths. That's right. It's going to be all kinds of famines and war. It's gonna be nuclear destruction. It's gonna be concentration camps. All of that is coming. And we're gonna be here. We're gonna be gonna be living within that reality, man. And these right. niggas don't wanna hear it. But that's why it tells you in Proverbs when, it, when that time comes, it's gonna to be too late. Those sides gonna mock you, man. Yeah, it's just, he, yeah, yeah, that's yep. That's why he just he was just another black intellect that didn't have an answer. Yeah. That's all and they, and they, so you know, maybe the Lord have mercy on them, maybe not, we'll yeah. see. That, that remains to be seen, we'll see. Oh, he, 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 you know, he's all right, but he, just, he still had a lot of you know, like semantical bullshit in his mind. Let's read that. Because the Lord that got it defined, man. Right. Ain't no fucking gray area. Right. Yep. Right. Okay? Yep. It's either you with it or you ain't. That's what it's, that's what it's about. Revelation okay. chapter 1, verse 7. That's real. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And every eye shall see and see him, because in Isaiah talked about how the day of vengeance is in his heart. So we read in Revelations, uh, those clouds are talking about the chariots. He's coming in clouds, go ahead. And they also which pierced him. So they also which pierced him. Now the Lord was pierced over 2,000 years ago. You telling me there's, a two, there's gonna be a 2,000 year old man walking around? No, man, they're back here today. They're back. Go ahead. And all yeah. kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Man, he's gonna be going around fucking shit up. Go ahead. Even so, amen. Even so, man. Read, read that in Thessalonians. This is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. Uh -huh. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout. Go ahead. With the voice of the archangel. With his homies. Go ahead. And with the trump of the most high. Uh huh. And the dead and uh, Mashiach shall rise first. With so all his homies it's coming with him, man. Now homosexuals are gonna, are gonna be put to death in that day. Man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 17. Damn Catamite. Go ahead, Calamite. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the cloud. That's right. So we're gonna we, we gonna be transcended, right? Okay. Go ahead. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now there you go, man. And so from that time we're gonna be in due spiritual power, and we're gonna be able to take down this so-called white man. And you can get mad at our message all you want. We don't give a damn about you, man. That's right. We don't give a damn about what you got to say. That's right. You are enemy, man. You are enemy. Just because you are a, a two-time loser, we, ain't feel, we don't feel sorry for you. Go ahead. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Comfort one another with these words. These words are going to be comforting to the elect. Now, 
I tell you, we can ask Edomites. Okay? Go to uh, uh, Romans uh, 9. Uh, 9. You got Amos. No, no. No, uh, Yeah, you start there. Nah, this is Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in Mashiach. Uh -huh. I lie not. So Paul said he wasn't lying. He's telling the truth. Go ahead. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Through the Spirit, he was telling the truth. Go ahead. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could I could wish that myself were a curse from Mashiach for my brethren. Right. He wished he could have went on the cross instead of the Lord. Go ahead. My kinsmen according to the flesh. Uh-huh. His kinsmen according to the flesh. I wish he could die for his brethren according to the flesh. According to the flesh. They were, they were physically, they were the seed of Israel, man. Go ahead. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Not the whole world. Not the whole world. Only the Israelites. Go ahead. To whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom pertaineth the adoption of Christ? Being brought back to the grace of the Heavenly Father. The mercy of the Heavenly Father, go ahead. In the glory. The glory which is the kingdom, go ahead. In the covenant. In the covenants which were given into the nation of Israel only, go ahead. In the giving of the law. The giving again, the giving of the law, go ahead. In the service of the Most High. The service of the Most High, man. The service of the Most High. Who was only given to the Israelites, man. Go ahead. And the promises. The promises of, uh, of, of, of leadership. Okay? That we're going to rule the whole earth. Go ahead. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh? Mashiach came. Yeah, for whom concerning the flesh, Christ came, man. According to the flesh, man. Not, not, not no uh, lovey-dovey feeling in your, in your wicked-ass mind. Go ahead. Who is over all. The Most High, blessed forever. Amen. Uh-huh. Jump down 13. Come on. Verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So to clarify, then Paul went down and gave the example of what he meant. <laughs> he gave the example of what he meant right here. What he, what he was talking about at the beginning of the chapter. So you like, you know what? Let me break it down for you. The scripture said Esau have, uh, 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 Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Because he was only dealing with Jacob. Go ahead. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? That he ain't dealing with all the faggot ass Romans at that time? That he said to destroy them Romans? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Go ahead. God forbid. Hell no. Go ahead. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on who I will have mercy. He gonna deal with who he's gonna deal with. He gonna have mercy on who he gonna want to have mercy on, man. It don't matter what you feel or think. Do you think that's a good white man? I grew up with him. He's my best friend. <laughs> that motherfucker's still going to slavery, man. And your ass that's gonna right, die because right. you joined hand in hand with him. That's right. All right, go ahead. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion on. You ain't worried about who you like. Most I ain't worried about who the, who the fuck you like. My mama white. Well, your mama going into slavery. That's right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, man. That bitch going into slavery. Okay. Go ahead. Verse 16. So then it is not of him that will it. Uh-huh. Nor of him that run it. So it don't matter what the hell you think going on. Go ahead. But of the most high that shows mercy. The most high is going to show mercy, man. The most high is going to show mercy only to the elect of the nation of Israel. All the rest of you people are going to get put to death and put in chains. Go ahead. That's it on that. Keep reading. Oh, that's it on that. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. Yeah, so same purpose. He rose up to Pharaoh. He rose up to Pharaoh and he's up to be a great empire. Go ahead. That I might shoot my power in thee. And so he wanted to show his power by destroying them before the face of the Israelites so they could see the power of the Lord. Go ahead. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. That's right. And to this day, we, we keep the Passover. Go ahead. Therefore, he had mercy on whom he will have mercy. 
There you go. So the Lord is going to destroy America, man. And he's only going to save the elect. He's only going to deal with the elect. Whether you like it or not, man. Okay. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 5. But if our unrighteousness commended the righteous of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who take vengeance? Yeah, is God unrighteous who take vengeance? Go ahead. I speak as a man, God forbid. Nope. But then how shall God judge the world? That group. Read that again. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is Romans chapter 3, verse 5. Woo. But if our unrighteousness commended the righteous of God, uh -huh. what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taking vengeance? Right. So if you you think you can just be wicked as all hell do and do what you want to do, is it unrighteous when God put a foot in your ass and take vengeance on you? Huh? Is it? Are we are we wrong? 